Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Okay, let's just end, let's open with a prayer. Then I'll go into what I want to talk about. Father God, we just thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. We bless your holy name. Father, we thank you for a new day. We thank you for who you are. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We um, just want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day, the 20th of June, 2021, in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit, the living God, have your way. Speak through me. Um, I I pray over every person that will come against this um, video, Lord Jesus. I pray for my um, subscribers. I pray for everybody, my brothers and sisters, Lord God, for whom shall come across this um, message. I pray for them all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hi, guys. Um, it's um, June the 20th, Sunday, 2021. So I just want to address, yeah, in my videos when I say end times i am referring that we've come into the times of the end am i saying that the world is going to end tomorrow no am i saying the world is going to end today no i'm just saying we've entered the times of the end the end is not now but what i can do for you guys yeah i can point you in matthew 24 i've touched this scripture before in um when the Lord showed me, um, when I had that dream about nearly being left behind, you know, I'm talking about heaven. So if you um, read Matthew 24, yeah, then you reference it to Daniel, the book of Daniel, then you reference it also to Revelations. Now, these three books, um, actually Matthew 24, the chapter, and then the other two books, Daniel and Revelations, will let you know where we're at. If you can start in Revelations, the seven seals, yeah? The seven seals that gives us the steps of, um, of um, is it this? No, the six, sorry. The six seals that gives you the steps of where we're at. And then you, if you read the book of Daniel, then you also time tells us about these times where we are. Then um, Matthew 24 also speaks about <clears throat> these times where we are. Okay. So um, I just wanted to come on and, and, and clear that up because some people are beginners and um, some people are, you know, middle and some people are high. Even the Bible says, you know, some of us start off um, with milk and some of us start off with meat. So um, I will kindly ask you guys to get into the word of God and um, educate yourself, like read the Bible, because God will give you if you if you are a child of God and you've given your life to Christ, the Holy Spirit will come in and give you personal revelations for yourself. Yes, YouTubers, the right ones, if you pray and test the spirit, the right ones are the right ones. But Jesus does not expect us to rely on their on them he wants you also to spend time with him through the holy spirit and get to know what he's saying do you understand what i'm saying so yes you got to read the word you got to stand on the word you can't just think that yeah i'll get up and listen to adasa or listen to um this person this person they're good but the best is the, the source which is the manual which is the holy book you know because it points you straight to jesus through the Holy Spirit. So guys, I just wanted to say that because um, I keep saying that the word of the law says that God does not give us a spirit of fear. He doesn't. Yeah, it's there in Timothy. He does not give us a spirit of fear. But then he doesn't want um, the same um, Bible says to us, the word of God, the Holy Book says to us, my people lack because of lack of knowledge. Guys, what you don't know, what you don't know, will eventually catch up, catch up with you. So my thing is a Sunday. I don't know when this video will be out, but what I'm trying to say is 
I'm pointing you back to the scriptures. I'm pointing you back to the Messiah. I'm pointing you back to Yeshua. Read your Bible at this time. So when, most importantly as well, because if you read, if you study your Bible, the Holy Spirit will tell you, no, don't listen to this one. That if you are one of them people that go on YouTube and you, you just want to listen to, you know, what someone is saying for this season. The more you get closer to the Holy Spirit, the Lord will show you through the Holy Spirit. Don't listen to this one. This is not for me. This, okay, this one is for me. Or, you know, because we're in, <laughs> we're in some times when you'll be deceived if you don't have the Holy Spirit. You'll be deceived if you don't have the Holy Spirit. So guys, I just came on. I'm going to put the books up. So, you know, um, whenever, whoever comes across this video that, you know, at least the books are there. If you want to understand the times that we're in. Now, I've said we have entered into the times of the end, but it is not the end. Okay. <clears throat> Even um, it's in, it's in Matthews. It, Matthews explains the rumors of wars, but you're not in the end, end, end. Certain things have to take place before the ending of, you know, before Jesus Christ comes. So um, be encouraged, guys. And um, as I said, my channel is not to put fear in anyone. I come from a place of passion. I come from a place of um, I would like to feed the, the people, the God, God's people, the truth, because the devil's played with my life up, down, twist me around and everything, you know, whether it's false prophets, whether it's used A, B or C or whatever, you know. So I don't want that from for other people. So if I can come and be obedient and just be um, a servant to you guys, but first of all, a servant to the father. He tells me, he gives me the wisdom to come on and say or do or, you know, um, so guys, that's all I'm saying. I just want you to be encouraged. I don't want you to think that, oh my God, she's a bit, you know, you know that, you know, I've, I've realized that, um, we're living in a times of labels, like, um, all of a sudden narcissists, 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 you know? Okay. It might be for a season for somebody to be called out if you're like that. But for me, I'm just passion for souls. If you guys know, like it's a testimony that I'm here, God fight for my soul. So if I can live to tell, then I want it for somebody else. Yeah, the Bible says to us in Romans 12, 2, you're of the, this is to, the promises are for his children. OK, so the Bible says to his children, you're of you're in the world, but you're not of the world. OK, so then that's where I will come and try and speak to his people and say, guys, this world is wicked. This world doesn't it doesn't serve us at all. So turn away from your wicked ways and come back to the heart of worship, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Because for me, I'm saying, I'm, I'm looking at all the other religions and no one's has gone on the cross for us. No one. No one has gone on the cross for you and paid that price. So guys, if anything, this video, I want the people, the sheep, to be pointed back to Jesus. Go and read. When you have time, if you're a Christian, you're a child of God and you love, you just want the truth. You want to know who the Messiah is. Please, and the times and the seasons, read the book of Daniel, chapter 24, and Revelations, the six seals. Yeah, the six seals. I beg your pardon, I did say seven, but it's not seven. <laughs> it's early, I'm a bit tired. Um, the six seals, okay? So if you read those six seals, it will explain to you where we are, where we are at, Okay? So certain things have to happen before the tribulation and the great tribulation. And, you know, educate yourself, educate yourself, take a Sunday out, take a, I mean, there's been so many lockdowns, lock, like, you know, you can go here, you can't do that. Or people working from home, spend an hour with the Holy Spirit, spend an hour with the Holy Spirit. Because I'm sure that, you know, we're in a generation where you can be on your phone for an hour and you think, wow, what that is that? Did, where did the time go? So take away that or take away whatever takes you away from the presence of the Lord and get back into your secret place. And with all humility, guys, I'm coming here to just let you know that as I'm as I'm learning, as the Holy Spirit is teaching me, then I come and 
give what he's teaching me. So that's all humility. I'm not here to be number one. I'm not here to be like, I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it because generally Jesus has saved my soul. And I, my assignment now is to also give what he's given to me. Teach, share, testimonies, whatever he's done and given to me, I want to give it to whoever will come across this channel, you know. But the most important thing, guys, read your word and focus on the Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to say. It's a Sunday, 20th of June, and... Um, I've just been spending some time with the Lord and we have to be pointing people to him, not pointing people to Adasa, pointing people to him, our father in heaven. So guys, be blessed. Um, I always say, because it's in Revelations 2, 7, those that have ears, let them hear, you know, and um, as I said again, I have to apologize because we're all coming from different um levels of life i'm not coming when i when i'm as passion guys don't think oh my god she's trying to tell us what to do no i get i get in the i get into the like it's passion you just get into the like the message and you just like you don't want anyone to be in hell fire you don't want anyone because when you read revelation it is real it is real, but the thing is, this wicked world has made people think, uh, I want money, I want to be famous, I want to be a star, I want to do this, I want to do that. The world is wicked. Kids disobedient, being disobedient, being um, rebellious. And all these things, it says it in the Bible. So if it means I'm trying to come on here to talk to whoever the Lord has sent me to talk to, and then someone will come across and think, oh, she's too hard or she's too harsh or that was a bit... No, if I have come across that way, that is not my intention. I'm sorry. I am so passionate for the things of God, for winning souls, for people to give their life to Christ and live accordingly. Yeah, because I, I, I'm hearing once saved, always saved. No, guys, that's a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie. You know? And when you get deeper in this Bible as well, things that we do, that's why now I live a life of repentance because we think we can do something and because in your eyes, you might think, oh, it's not a sin, but in Jesus' eyes, it's a sin. It's a sin. And this is what I'm trying to teach my children. Like, guys, we need to be humble because we think, oh, no, no, I haven't done anything wrong. But if you take it to scriptures, you have done something wrong. Guys, mercy on us all, mercy on us all, mercy on us all. Just ask God for mercy, you know. Um, I just came on because I just, I just strongly felt like to let the people know, I thank you for those that really generally follow me because you, you can relate to my life or my testimony. But um, just know in your heart that I'm coming from a place of love. I have passion for the things of God, guys. The devil has played with me left, right and centre. And I said, no, I'm done. No more. No more. You know, I live a life of um, repentance because I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't have it all together. You know, as soon as the Lord puts something on my heart that you need to correct this area, you need to correct. I do it. I do it. So, guys, be blessed. And I'm going to put the books up and that one scripture, Matthew 24. But I just thought that like, let me come on and explain myself. Truly, if, you, if God can show you my heart, I love, I love hard. I love people. It's all passion, especially the youth, young people, especially the young people that look on this wicked elders and think, oh, I can do that. I can do that. So when I come on, I'm not bashing. I love everybody. Jesus loves everybody. I love everybody. But it's just to let the people know that we need to live right. We need to re live accordingly to the word of God and just have, live a life of repentance. You get it wrong, you quickly repent. You talk to your father. You talk to your father. So guys, anyway, oh, it's Father's Day. So first and foremost, happy Father's Day to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Yeshua. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. 
And um, also fathers out there, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there that make sure that they're in their children's life, that make sure that they're impacting these kids, that make sure that um, they're, they're, they're covering their kids. The kids have a covenant, you know. So those that are know what they were put here to do as a father, God continue to bless you, you know. A man, a man has a role, a big role to play because once that covenant is off that boy or the, the 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 girl. It's not a good. It's not good. It's not good. But if you don't get into the word, you're just gonna think, oh, I'm I'm here. I'm here. No, the Lord will ask you, Judgment Day. What did you do with the kids that I gave you? You know. So anyway, Happy Father's Day to all the amazing fathers in the world. I pray for you. I ca- I cover you in the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, even me this morning, I woke up and I text, um, you know, my uncle just took over my granddad and my, my dad's past. So the elder, you know, I text him. I said, you know, happy Father's Day. You know, you got to honor the, um, the elders, the right people in your life, you know. So guys, be blessed. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And um, once again, I just come on here to let you guys know, let us, let us get back to scripture. Let us point people back to Jesus Christ. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. It's about his word, what his word says, the holy book. So I give you guys all, all um, humility and, you know, I love you all and I send love out to everybody and enjoy your Sunday. And um, let me, let me just close out in a prayer. Father God, we thank you for this Father to say, we thank you, Lord God, for all those fathers, Lord Jesus, that um, have played a good role in, in their homes, in their children, Lord God. We thank you for who you are, Lord. We thank you for you because you are the perfect father. You are the example that we should look on. So, Father God, I thank you for the precious blood. I thank you for the cross. I thank you for Calvary. I thank you for who you are, getting us up, Lord Jesus, giving us a new day. I just honor you. I love you, Lord God. And I pray that every day will be a day of just worshiping you that they do in heaven, Lord God. Father, we just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you the glory. We give you the adoration. Most of all, I thank you because you're a God of a second chance. No matter where the person is now in their life, you are a God that will say, come, come as you are. Lord, I love you. I need you every day. And I thank you for accepting all of us for who we are and wherever you meet us. So um, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, be blessed. And um, I'm, I'm going to put the books up, as I said. Focus on Jesus in these times that we're in. Focus on Jesus. Love on Jesus. Love on the scriptures. And love on your family. Love on your family. Love on your children. You know, spend so much family time because I don't even know what to say about this world anymore. But um, God bless you. Enjoy. Enjoy Father's Day. Enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy family. All right. God bless. Happy Father's Day, Nathan. Happy Father's Day, Femi. Happy Father's Day to all the men that are in my life. All right. God bless Adasa. Till the next time. God bless you. Amen. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hey guys, I beg your pardon. It's seven seals. Yeah. And I will even put up the seven seals. Sorry. It's early. Like when you read the book of Revelation, you're everywhere. Do you understand? So I beg your pardon and I apologize. It's um, seven seals. I'm going to pull it up in the book of Revelation. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put it up so you don't get confused. Yeah. So it's not six. I'm making myself very clear. It's seven seals. Okay. That you need to read. I'm going to pull it up a picture so you don't get confused. And Matthew 24, the whole chapter. Okay. Just that one chapter. Jesus is speaking. Read Matthew 24. And the book of Daniel. Now, this is for people that like to study, okay? Second Timothy um, 2.15, study to show yourself approved. If you're one of those people like me, you want to eat meat, you want to have understanding, this, this, this video is for you. But if you're one of those people that just want to, I don't know, then it's not for you. But if you like studying and you want the truth and you know that like, you're seeking, you know the Bible says to us in um, Matthew 7.7, 7, um, Seek, you will find. Knock, the door will open. Ask, and you know it shall be given. So, if you're really thirsty, guys, this is the video for you. Yeah. Um. So, I'm going to repeat myself again. I apologize for saying six seals. It's seven seals. Okay. Um. So you got 
um, Matthew 24, okay, the whole chapter, Jesus is speaking. Then you read the book of um, Daniel, okay, um, for understanding the book of Daniel. I like reading the whole thing, okay, when you've got time. Then you read this um, seven seals, okay, that is in a book of Revelation, okay. Guys, I'm going to put it up, so the pictures, so you understand what I'm doing. Those that, it, the pictures will help, okay. But um, I apologize for saying six seals okay all right then god bless you guys um as i yeah i've already said um happy father's day to people so god bless you and i pray that um this information that helps someone out there um you know studying is not a rush thing study that like, you can go back on the video you can go back you know take your time ask the holy spirit for understanding ask the holy spirit before i even get into my bible i always ask the holy spirit to come you know, give me understanding, have his way, because you, the Bible is not a normal book. The Holy Book is not a normal book that you just, you have to ask the Holy Spirit to help you for the mysteries, for him to show you the secrets of this Bible. All right, I don't know who that's for, but yeah. All right, guys, so I just quickly came back on because I went through the Bible and I was like, ah, did I say, did I say six? I beg your pardon. I'm so sorry, guys. Seven. Okay. All right. Have a fantastic Father's Day and um, enjoy your Sundays. And God bless you to the next time. Adasa. Hey guys, I've actually put a um, link in the description box to also help you more. If you're one of those people that like to study to show themselves approved. So I've put a link in the description box. This guy breaks down the seven seals, like what's to happen in these end times. He breaks it down nicely scriptures everything but you need to have your pen and paper and your bible so his link is in the description box and his name is joseph i can't pronounce the surname guys so joseph o-k-e so uh, hang on o-k-e-c-h-u-k-w-u and I advise you to even follow his ministry on YouTube. It's absolutely amazing. Like, you know, he's always putting up um, new videos with the times and seasons, what's going on in this world and what's to come. Just so you know what's going on and you'll know that you're right with Jesus. Like you've, you're on point with your relationship with Jesus. You're reading the Bible. You've got reference to go on and, and, and check what he's seen and what the Holy Spirit's saying to you or why you're reading your Bible, just to know what's happening in this world. Okay, so I will recommend his channel. Okay. His name's Joseph. The link is in the description box. I follow his ministry too. And it's, it's, it's for him, he's just doing because of the love of God. Like some of us just actually do this for the love of God. Like people, God loves his people. So we're doing it for the love of God and the love of his people, you know. So, you know, we don't want to threaten people when we say, oh, ministry. We're not trying to like even to add that word ministry because people have spoiled the word. So go on his page support what he's doing his assignment that's what i like to call now his assignment and um yeah i support him and i you know watch that channel and i do reference people to the channel because this guy does a lot of research do you understand so um yeah guys i'm gonna put the link in the description box to help you understand the seven seals you know i've touched it a bit but you can go in the link and um he touches it as part one part two just keep following until you know you've you've understood you know the, the, the times in the season sorry about that stuttering the times in the season all right guys um guys i i will always put um if the lord leads me i'll always put um a link in the description box because some of us want to know the truth and some of us like to learn this guy has really searched the truth so and the word of god he goes deep you know he's not going to just be talking talking sake he, you've got to have your bible and your 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 notepad to make your notes so yes um i've put joseph's link in a description box all right guys in, um, enjoy your sunday whatever you do or whenever this video does come out you enjoy yourself god bless you to the next time i greet you all in the mighty name of jesus i cover you all in the blood of jesus let's support the right people that is spreading the gospel right now churches should be preaching revelation the book of revelation i've said it before the beginning of this year i put revelations up guys i put revelations up i put the book of jeremiah you know and um 
you know, Matthew 24 just nails it. That's it. Matthew 24. Me, most of the people I'm around, we're always talking about Matthew 24. You know, uh, even today, my daughter rang me and said to me, one of my daughters rang me and said to me, oh, um, I was in Matthew 24, mom. And I was like, can you imagine? I was in Matthew 24 just a week ago. You know, it's just a season for Matthew 24's revelation and the book of Daniel. But say no more, guys. Love you. Those that want to learn, let's keep learning together. All right. God bless you. Enjoy your weekend or whatever it is you're doing. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Love you. Adasa. God bless. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.